Are you ready? <laughs> Olivia Newton-John. So pretty. You really are. <laughs> what are you going to get out of your 20s? No, thank, you. thank you so much. You must need glasses. Do no, you? I don't need glasses. <laughs> and don't you agree? Are you amazing? <laughs> you know, the one thing I didn't say in the introduction, environmentalist, businesswoman, entrepreneur, all of those things, but you're a mom. Yeah, that's most important. That's it number is. one. Number yeah. one importance. Yeah. I wonder in the heyday when the career was controlling you, if you ever thought that you'd ever feel this way. No, I didn't, actually. And my partner, Pat, who we started Koala Blue together, when she had her baby, I remember saying to her, when I was thinking of having children, what if I like my baby as much as I like my dogs? And I know that sounds very strange, but <laughs> I loved my dogs so much. They were my babies. And yeah. I remember even just before I went into hospital, I'm going, oh, God, what, what am I going to do if I don't love as much as the dog? Well, the minute I got Chloe in my arms and I went home and the dog came to the car, the dog was a dog. <laughs> And there was no, there was no question. Isn't it amazing? Question. It yeah. spins you right around and turns you in a whole different direction. Yeah. She's four and a half. She's four and a half. She's wonderful. And you know, Olivia's new album called Warm and Tender has lullabies on it. Yes. And I'm sure those are for Chloe. Yeah, I recorded the whole album for her. I, I recorded songs that she loves, like Summer Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz, because that was one of her favorite movies, and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and all her little favorite lullabies, and, and kind of songs that a mother would love to sing to her baby, like You'll Never Walk Alone. But mm. In a different way, if you think of the words to your child, I had a picture on the um, music stand when I was recording it. And Did I started to cry really? the time I sang it. You were really <laughs> sentimental. I yeah. started it when I was in Australia when I was 15. I went on a talent contest. Actually, it was like an audition show. They had, you would go on and they'd have a panel and they'd gong you, like the gong show, really. And you just turn up and. Um, Did you get gonged? Yeah, I got three gongs. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you got one gong, you got the hook. If I didn't, thank goodness. And then somebody saw me. One of the panelists was an American, and she wanted to manage me. She called my mother. That's kind of how it started. And my mother said, well, she's at school, and she's got to finish her education and all this. And then there was another talent contest on a local show. Actually, it was on a national pop show. And I auditioned for that. I got on it. And I won the whole thing, which was a trip to England. So that's really how it started. Why, why not singing? Why aren't you performing live regularly now? Because it means going away from my daughter and my husband, and I don't really want to be away. I mean, this trip has been five days, and I'm just, I miss her so much. It, it's horrible. It's too it's, long. It's a terrible feeling, isn't mm -hmm. it? You're yearning for your child. And yeah. you'll, when, do you, when do you see her tomorrow? I'll see her today. Today? Yeah, you afternoon. can't wait, right? <laughs> but then, you, you were kind of a forerunner for marrying a younger man. Yeah, oh, it really, it's really up to the person. It's really nothing to do with age. And it was just, you know, we got on really well, but I was, I was the one with the hang-up. What's special <laughs> about him? Um, he's just a really very natural, sweet, energetic person who um, is very open-minded and, and uh, he's a great father. He helps me with Chloe and we share the responsibility totally. Do you share the same interests? Because your interest in the environment we know so well. I mean, long ago, your interest in the dolphins made changes. Mm -hmm. um, your interest in, in tuna. You boycotted, didn't you, mm -hmm. and, and urged people to boycott the tuna manufacturers, and look what they're doing yeah, now. Yeah, I think we should give them a hand, because they We should they give them a hand. They have really responded. Um, and, and I know you care. I mean, there are things you're doing with Koala Blue. You do things at home, but people want to dish the dirt all the time. Forgive mm -hmm. the pun, but you are getting a lot of press. <laughs> I know, I know. For this house that you're building in Malibu, yeah. do you just have some angry neighbor out there? Yeah, well, I don't want to, you know, dish the dirt back on them, <laughs> but um, there are four condominiums next to me, and obviously when you build a house, you have to, you know, you have to move dirt. Sure. I mean, that's kind of a natural part of it. Unfortunately, we're right on the beachfront, and it's really sand that was moved, and the neighbors next door got annoyed, said that we dirtied the house. Really, they just needed some soap and water, basically. But it got to be silly, and they filed a lawsuit, and um, it hasn't been served on us. It was just filed, but the media got hold of just that fact. It was blown up out of proportion. They've never asked us for the, you know, the facts of it. The facts, the, the things they've said are without merit, totally without merit. But I have to, we have to go through that, through the lawyers and all that stuff. I mean, an uneducated person who doesn't care about the environment might be apt to ruin something in the course of building. But I would think that you'd be very cautious about very that. Very cautious. And also, you have to put retaining walls in because on the ocean, you know, the, the ocean is actually rising with the greenhouse effect and you have to retain it. And we have permits to do all this from the Coastal Commission. And so um, we've done everything to code, everything's done right, I'm going to plant it. 
but we're waiting for our uh, landscaping permit to come through. So at the moment, there's a bare hill and the neighbours are going crazy and they love talking to the press. It's their big money. I saw Greece 13 times. Did because, you really? Yes, because my teenage daughter absolutely loved it. So every time we turned around, she wanted to go see Greece. Oh. Did you love working on that film? And of course, the success of the Yeah, it was Great. my favourite experience in films. It was fantastic. It was like being at school. I never went to a... Um, I went to an Australian school and we wore uniforms and it wasn't anything like the fun that we had making Greece. So it was like going back to school for me. It was great. Uh, was it great working with John Travolta? Are you yeah. two good friends? Yeah, we are. Very good friends. I wonder if you're thrilled now with his return to a successful vehicle um, with the new film. Yeah, he's very happy. And he? He, he deserves it. It was just a matter of time. We were just wondering how you stay so young looking and beautiful. Thank you. Well, I don't know. I think I'm just, uh, I'm just lucky. I have my mother's genes. And uh, my daughter keeps me busy and I'm happy. I think that's really probably the basis of it. You think running around after a, a toddler, a little one, keeps you in shape? Oh, yeah, for sure. She's, I don't know. I seem to do a lot of that, but I'm not in the kind of shape you're in. I, that somehow works for some, not for others. Can you stand up with her? Because she not only has a question, but have you seen this little girl, no, Olivia, in the audience? Can we hold her up? Look at, she oh, has koala blue. Cute. Oh, how cute. <laughs> how old is it? Olivia's uh, daughter? How old? Go ahead, you can ask. How old is Olivia's daughter? Oh, very good. She's four and a half, honey. How old are you? Four. You could be friends. Yeah. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, and you're Jennifer. so pretty. Do you love your dress? Yes. And you also have a little baby here, and she's all dressed <laughs> up. Honestly, Love You was very special for me because it was. Song. Um, it was a great turning point in my career because it was a ballad and it was like. I, record, I found it easily, it was just one of those magical things that came to me and, I, and it was like the second take of the song or the first take, it was the, t the take and, and um, Sam is one of my favorites. And how about from Greece? Oh yeah, Hopesy Devoted to You, uh, I love that and song. And Summer Nights, yeah. there's a lot of good songs. Who else has a question? Stand up for me, would you? Mm. Olivia, do you plan to do another movie? Because we really enjoyed you in Greece. Oh, thank you. Are you an Aussie? No. She's English, right? No. You can tell no, the difference. She sounds English, though. South African. Oh, South African. Yes. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm close. I didn't, I couldn't hear the clip. Usually it's a little more clip. Um, not at the moment. I, I've been looking for something, but um, Greece was nearly 12 years ago. It's amazing. The time has gone like that. But um, I haven't found anything. I'd really like to do something with an environmental twist to it or something. Oh, you would? A yeah. film that has that kind of a message. Mm. What a good idea that because would be. Because if I'm going to work, I've got to feel like I'm doing it for a reason. I'm not going to leave Chloe or work unless it's for a good cause. <laughs> yeah, mine's getting very big. This is Ryan. Ryan, this is Hi. Olivia. Can you say hello? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to be very, very shy. Yeah, why not? We should mention UN ambassador. Um, for the environment, for all things that matter about the environment, and what an honor that is. Yeah, very, very much so. Yeah, I'm given to you. You really do yeah. care, and warm and tender. And what other things? What are you up to? Oh, I mean, the koala blue, the obviously. Blue and I'm um, just trying to raise people's awareness and talking about the fact that we all, we all have the power to make changes, and we should we should do it. We and have we're to determined. Do it. We're going to do this last right. line of the song right, okay? <laughs> okay. One, and then we'll say goodbye. The harmony. Okay. You do the harmony. All right, ready? Oh, oh the, the summer, summer night.